Hi, today we are going to discuss about the shear stress machines. This is the control panels. This is responsible to select your object. And this is called the timers. And back side the electrical panels. This is the machines. How we can use the system. First we have to turn on the power from here. And the turn on the power again here. We can select the single mode turn on this timer and all so first of all from here we are going to start first of all we have to give the electrical connections i made i made the electrical connections okay this part we need to connect to the our power supply unit here is our power supply unit Okay. The second is called the electrical board. If they do no need, then we are not going to open this one. Even they have the lock to lock this electric electrical panel. And this is very danger if the system is in the running mode. Even there the power from outside, we are not going to open and access this one. This this is just a paper cam for the drive. I is came from the system okay and even they have the lock locking options if you want you can have this key and better to lock this one other than they will the somebody will open and is we are, we are working on the three phase power on 32 amperes load is too dangerous yeah, yeah. okay then if you want we can take it from this uh, key here the second point this is the lock this is the main power supply first to turn on we have to turn on from the outside, then you have to turn on from here. Okay, yes. well, sorry, just one question. Okay, go ahead. Now, now we'll take the key with me, okay? Okay. But then we need to disable it internally. Because taking the key and you still can put the power on the the machine doesn't make yeah, that's any cool. uh, sense. I need to know how to oh, disable it. Maybe circuit breaker, main switch that I will disable it so it will not work for anybody. Electrical panel, the, from the electrical panel, this is the first module basically. We are going to use this module for our operations. From the top part, this part is called the controller part. Means uh, this is called PID controller. Suppose you want to cut the, uh, uh, you want to cut the 50 centimeters length, yeah, 10 centimeters, yeah, 100 centimeters. Then we are going to fix our target. Then the back end they will move and we have idea like what big size we want to cut then up, uh, then from here we are going to apply our metal sheet and after that we can use either we can use the manuals I'll, manuals yeah automatic mode okay this is the two things one is called the reset conformations this is con conformation is required to call the suppose there are the many reset shears either we can apply the emergency from here and one reset in the other side other side of off this one then they will not give any privilege to your object to moving down if you are turning on this one then when you cut the object that time they will also go little back along with your object okay it will not stop yeah if you off means they will be in the back gate it will be completely stopped there they will not move okay this is called the cut length cut length depend on the object if you are putting zero means zero is not a good practice because that uh, the cutter they will try to cut very fast but it's not a good practice generally we giving the 1.5 seconds or more okay if you are going down then this is the mode which i said if you are turning on the system first time then better to start by single mode first time then go for the single mode second point this is called the pom pom then how we are going to turn on the system, first we will turn on from here and after that I will just off the all, all module I will off from here, I will off everything I'll, and after that we are going to select this single mode and then we will turn on the pump. Then first time my system is ready to use. If you are going down then this is called the e set basically we are applying for the pump, controlling the pump, hydraulic pump and after this is called the lamp. Either we can turn on the lamp and turn up, we are going to see the lamp from here. And then if you go downside, this is uh, rectangle. Rectangle means 
Suppose I said uh, what the angle of the blade can be moved. It can be moved 0.5 to 2 degree. Then if you are increasing the rack angles, means this is the angle. This is the if your rack angle. If you are not using the rack angles, means the perpendicular they will cut your objects. If you are giving the some rack angles, like suppose you want to cut like this, then we can increase the rack angle from here and you can turn on. Okay. This all about the panels. This is called the clearance. Clearance means suppose you have the 1.5 mm object yeah, you have the 2 mm your metal sheet and you want to cut that time you need to set the correct clearance clearance means if you are if you, are, if you push up take it out and if you are putting 4 point 4.5 mm means we can, we are going to use the 4.5 mm thick objects now my object is almost the 1.5 mm then I'm going to use in between 1 and 2. I'll take it up. Here. Yeah. Okay. So it's either 4.5 millimeter maximum or 1.5 millimeter? Uh, maximum you can use the uh, 4.5 mm. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. This, uh, so about, that is only like maybe maximum of but 6 mm. We are going, to, we are going to wear the gloves. Yeah. The Even though you wear gloves, when you mistakenly put your finger here, you crush your finger. That gloves is, this is hydraulic, it will go down. You see with this one, uh, sir. Using this one, and the suit is going like this. Okay, cut. And then his no. finger is inserted there. We don't know. It's a first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is only happening. Okay, now we'll go to the uh, background of the systems. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now let's try. Okay, we'll go to the background of the system. In the background, suppose you're using the system and somebody tried to enter here, then they have the